What is up, my people? It's Marshall from Holix here. It finally happened, y'all. Jennifer and I got a damn PS5. We just bought it from Sony Direct a few hours ago, and we immediately knew that we should make a video to help others that are still looking to buy one and explain exactly how we did it. Because we've tried up to this point, I mean, probably like 30 different times. And this particular time was so smooth in comparison to all the other ones. So in this video, we'll be going over our experience and our tactics so you can use it to secure a PS5 before the end of the year. Now, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like and also subscribe for more PS5 content. Now, as you know, Sony is making it almost impossible for us to give them our money. I mean, this entire PS5 process has really been crazy. And it started off that way with the initial pre-orders. And now we have people sleeping outside on the regular just to try to get one. And we don't want y'all to have to do that. So Jennifer was actually the main architect for figuring out the best way for us to get one. So she's going to explain our methods to you. Hey everyone, so to really get a PS5, you actually just have to be plugged in. And I mean plugged in because retailers are randomly doing restocks at all different times and they give zero warning. And with the demand being so high, you really have to be one of the first people to click the link to even have a chance of successfully completing the order. And even if you are one of the first people, that still doesn't guarantee that you'll get one because we took several L's even though we were first. So as I'm explaining our experience, if you guys have any questions or just want more information, be sure to comment down below. We'll definitely make time to respond as quickly as we can because we really do want to help anyone that's still looking to get a PS5. So there's really two main things we did to finally secure one, and it's using inventory trackers and following several different Twitter accounts. So the first thing you'll want to do is to make a Twitter account if you don't have one already and follow Wario64 and GYX deals. Now, when you follow them, be sure to turn on notifications on your phone so you'll be alerted once retailers go live with PS5 restocks. And we'll put the links to these Twitter accounts in the description below. Also, we want to give a huge, huge shout out to Wario because it was actually his tweet that got us in the Sony Direct line super fast. There's also several other people you can follow on Twitter to get the same info. I just found that these two are the main ones that tweet the links the fastest. So the second thing we did was use sites like BrickSeek and PopFinder to monitor PS5 inventory in our area. So I was able to use BrickSeek for Walmart and PopFinder for GameStop and Target. And we'll put the links to these sites in the description below. This was actually my first time using these sites and they're pretty straightforward, but if you have any trouble, just let us know in the comments. Now these sites will allow you to know when another drop may happen. As you can see what stores have stock and which do not. For example, on Wednesday, I noticed all my local targets had 20 to 40 PS5s in stock and they were all previously at zero because I've been like monitoring it like a hawk. And we also saw a lot of people talking about an upcoming drop on Twitter, um, but all the time and date speculation really turned out to be wrong because Target went live around 6.30 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday morning and literally no one was expecting it. And like many people, we were sleeping and totally missed the drop. We did wake up to our Twitter notifications though, so needless to say, it was a disappointing morning. But it was all good. We still continued to monitor Twitter. And surprisingly, there were a ton of restocks that happened today. So Costco and Ant Online went live with PS5 bundles and even Canada had drops from EB Games and Walmart. And then out of nowhere, our Twitter monitoring finally, finally paid off when Wario tweeted out the link for Sony Direct. So luckily I was awake and I was able to click the link immediately because I got the noti and then I was placed in the queue. So I'm telling you, notifications on Twitter are a major key. So once I clicked the link, I was placed in a queue. Now Sony Direct uses Qit to handle all the traffic to the site and it's essentially a waiting room that only allows a certain number of users into the site at a time. And it's for real like a game changer. I mean, I was placed in the queue at about 5.02 and I was able to complete my purchase by 5.40. 
So maybe about 35 minutes of waiting in the queue. And it was by far the smoothest experience that we've had. I mean, there was absolutely no loading issues, no errors, unable to add to cart, like nothing. We also got free express shipping because we have a PlayStation Plus membership. So that was also like an added bonus. And I know this may not be possible to everyone, but I would highly recommend trying to purchase it from Sony Direct because it was so easy and a lot less stressful than using sites like Target, Walmart, or even Best Buy. We received our order confirmation immediately, so we didn't have to wonder if we really got it or not, which was also like really nice. And Sony, as well as other retailers, will continue to get restocks. So there's definitely still plenty of chances for you to secure a PS5 before Christmas. So from what I've seen, Target has a strict online order only policy. However, Walmart is allowing in-store purchases, but I think it's dependent on each location. I spoke to a Walmart manager that explained if they do have any PS5s available for in-store purchases, that's only because they were either canceled or not picked up in the required time frame. So you can monitor BrickSeek to see each location's inventory and potentially buy one that way, but I honestly think Walmart in-store purchases are like slim chances. I mean, you essentially have to have perfect timing and beat all the other competition. So I really think your best bet is to follow the Twitter accounts in the description. Be sure to turn on those notifications so you get the notice. Use BrickSeek and PopFinder to monitor local PS5 inventory. And then finally, you want to make sure you have updated account information for each retailer. So when you do finally get the PS5 in your cart, you can have a faster checkout. This is really exactly what we've done. And honestly, doing these things will put you in the best position to get a PS5. And we can say after three long weeks, these are the things that actually got it for us. Also, once we get our PS5, we'll post some videos of our first impressions of using things like the interface and the new controller. So definitely stay tuned for that. Now, if you've made it to this part of the video, thank you so much. And I really appreciate you watching. Now, we have some great videos in the pipeline, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you, and we'll catch you in the next one.